What's up everyone? Tonight I'm going to be riding through Stockbridge on an e-scooter, my Segway 9Bot F2. Tonight is May 28th, 2024. It's past 11 p.m. at 11.19 p.m. And I'm here over here at the Greenfront Cafe. Here's the plaque for the restaurant. They're showcasing how this is one of the very first restaurants built in Stockbridge in the 1940s and 1947. And how it was open for more than a half century and how they dedicated this uh, restaurant during the early 2000s through 2019 when it was uh, dedicated officially. This is an awesome small business, Greenfront Cafe. They're open from... 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, 7 p.m., Sunday to 3 p.m., and they're closed on Monday and Tuesday. For some reason, they have closed on Wednesday, so they, their schedules can, you know, fluctuate. But they're even uh, nominated on HenryEats.com. They have stars on HenryEats.com for Henry County, Georgia. 112, I think this is uh, South Berry Street. But I could be wrong there. Or 112 Second Street. They even have uh, Nathan's Hot Dogs. Fresh squeezed lemonade. Pretty awesome. Here's their QR code. And here is their phone number and social media. A really website. Okay, let's go ahead and ride around Stockbridge at night on an e-scooter. So, once again, I'm on a Segway 9Bot F2. It's just past Memorial Day, it's Tuesday. Usually around this time of the year, we start to see a lot of fireflies come out. Here in Georgia, they call them mite bugs. Also over here, you have a lot of freight trains that show up, usually every hour, but it can vary. So many freight trains over here that actually they feature it on Fox 5 at times. If they uh, are dedicated to Stockbridge, they'll have Thank You Stockbridge and feature the freight trains from over here and around the area. I saw it myself. I was pretty amazed at that. There's also uh, some other YouTubers who record the freight trains over here at various times of the day. Barbecues, which is an awesome spot to have a barbecue pit right next to the train tracks. Right now we're on Martin Luther King Senior Heritage Trail. They have sports bar and grill to the left and frozen smoke for bars if you want to come over here and dine out for the night or want to eat out with your friends.
crossing over the main freight track that splits into two. Once again, that was featured on Fox 5 and by other YouTubers as well. Now we're going on to East Atlanta Road. To the right is the Stockbridge Amphitheater, which was built in the very early 2020s. In 2021, I'm going to go ahead and pull over to the left over here. I'll show you guys this pavilion if you're in this part of town. Scooter's kind of struggling a little bit up this hill. Here we go. <laughs> I set the setting too low. But over here you have Domino's Pizza, which is really good. I personally ordered the Peach Cobbler Factory on DoorDash. They have very good food. Belgian waffles, brownies, pudding shakes. I always do their banana pudding, but the Peach Cobbler Factory they have very good food here, and they even have cold brew coffee. Here's Publix. And they're usually pretty cool over here in this Publix. Very friendly people, usually. Over here in the town area. And they have a nail shop and Stockbridge Dentures and Implants, so they have a dental place over here as well. All these other spots are empty. Looks like they're building something at 276 over there. And that's this plaza. So now I'm going to go ahead and loop back around and go back to the town area, or really the historic town area. Well, I'll go ahead and start venturing to the outskirts. Here's East Atlanta Road. Have a 
small grocery store called Downtown Food Mart, which used to be a barbecue pit. And now it's a food mart. Here we have a barn that's now for sale. The slot is for sale, at least. And just after that, we have a plaza where they have a printing shop, Herbal Roots, and TDK Designs. I thought I heard a car approaching me. You have to exercise caution if you're going to be scooting over here as it's not really a common place to scoot around but you may have other people at times scooting but at least at this day and age here in 2024 you have to be careful here's the stockbridge amphitheater we're going to pull through over here real quick Stockbridge Amphitheater opened in May 2021. As a matter of fact, I'll just say 2021. I'm not sure which month it was again. It's 2024. They opened in 2021. And over here, they have EV charging stations. So if you have an electric car, you can charge it over here with this Tesla as a prime example. Okay. So now we're gonna ride on Henry Boulevard. Wait for these cars to pass, I'm not in a rush. They have a fountain over here, there's the Stockbridge City Hall to the right. Okay. I'll show you a bit of this. the Stockbridge City Hall. Let's go on to Henry Boulevard. My critique on Henry Boulevard as far as riding a bicycle or riding a scooter is you have to be very careful as it is a highway and sometimes people do speed very fast. You just have to exercise caution when necessary. To the right is the Stockbridge Bridestrian Church. They opened in 1909. a barber shop for a long time but they went out of business now it's a realtor place called Ben and Ross Realtors as of May 2024 at the end of May
not going to stay in Henry Boulevard. I'm going to be taking Old Atlanta Road back. Just coming up ahead. Since the scooter has turn signal lights and there isn't a lot of traffic, it's pretty easy to get over. But at this very moment, I'm going to stay in the right-hand side of the lane. over there but uh it's just easier to do it like this but sometimes the crosswalks aren't really reliable or change fast enough in time and that's from previous experiences using the crosswalks just to walk. Walk across the street and uh, at that intersection there, going here, over here to Flippin' Road and from Henry Boulevard. Uh, oops. It wasn't really reliable. Earlier over here, there's, some, there's a deer over here. It's a pretty confident deer. Got it on camera. tonight I had it charged at 81% but uh, I actually forgot to plug in the charger after last night there are power outages within the area but I forgot to actually plug in the scooter so I left it at left out at an 81% battery charge and so it did fairly well in my opinion thousand milliamp hour battery in the scooter. But honestly I think it could be it could be a lot more milliamp hours in the battery and to provide for a lot longer but it is a five hundred and fifty dollar scooter.
right we have the Hawk Clinic Chiropractor. I personally met up with uh, one of the main owners of that property and he's super friendly. And that was a couple of years back. But actually, I personally went there years back, back in 2016, almost a decade ago at this time, and I have positive reviews of that place. Sometimes over here they have a lot of people, but tonight is not one of those nights, but they do party on the weekdays over here sometimes during the night. For future reference. Crossing Shopping Plaza. And over here, before I go on the street, I'm going to show you these cool little shops they have over here if you want to get some sneakers. Aside from that, they have a furniture store, Aaron's, Tony's Dominican Hair Salon, which may be better, but when I went there before, I didn't quite enjoy my experience. But they have Big Lots and Dollar Tree. If you want to get yourself some Nike Dunks, you can either go over here to High Bet Sports. I like the golden white leather high tops right there, along with the beige and green. And since it's the summertime nearly, uh, I would get the low tops. I think low tops look cool. That's just my take on it, but I personally like both. They even have New Balance, and I'm not sure what the left one is, but that looks pretty cute. I like the um, air cushioning on the bottom there with the New Balance-ish looking design. That's pretty cool. This is High Bet Sports and City Gear, which has an even more wider range of sneakers. So if you want to come over here and get sneakers, this is the spot. They have an even wider variety of uh, shoes in here. Nikes mainly, Jordans. So if that's your thing, you can uh, come on over here to City Gear or High Bet Sports. What's funny is that in the past, this used to be not only um, an insurance clinic, but I've got the other clinics as well, but it was a tax place over here you can come get your taxes done and over here used to be um and i actually went over here um some years ago three years ago it used to be a natural herb shop here at 260 but now i see that they uh moved unfortunately that's a brief history on that little area and What's there right now if you want to go get some cool shoes? If you don't want to order it or just go into the city area, you can go to City Gear and do it or High Bet Sports. Okay, so we're approaching Lake Spivey Parkway, also known as Georgia 138. going to wait for this car to pull out and I'm going to go ahead and ride down over to the Kroger Plaza where I'll go ahead and end this video. My critique over here would be that they put in LED lights. That way these orange lights that they currently have will be going in and out necessarily. The white LED lights are brighter last longer and are safer to use. You can see more. What's up, man? Friendly guys there, that's pretty cool. Okay. So Lake Spivey Parkway or Stockbridge Road or Georgia 138, this road has a lot of names. 
guess is if you just pick one, you'll be okay. It smells of rich barbecue over here. It smells good. And that uh, golden crown we're passing by. We're scooting over here. Please exercise caution. This is an interstate entrance and just be cautious uh, of cars coming behind you and cars up ahead if they have their signal on. Watching right now, like this guy, he can go ahead and go. Because usually they'll speed. But it, I guess it just really depends on the time of day and the driver. So we're on the outskirts of Stockbridge, Georgia, by the Hotel Districts. To the right is the Chick-fil-A and IHOP. Follow this car over here and go through the Kroger parking lot. Plenty of restaurants over here. Marco's Pizza, workout 24-7 anytime. We have another sneaker store over here called the Athlete's Foot. To the left, we have an Applebee's, a taco shop, and $3 cafe. My scooter battery is waning, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you this over here. another sneaker shop just down the road huge sale up to 70% off for spring you can see the Nike high tops they have in there pretty cool more Nikes if uh, the other store didn't satisfy you or if they didn't have your size and color you can check over here if high bet sports or city gear didn't have it maybe over here we'll have it but they have the same kind of sneakers Nike dunks Nike Air Forces, um, they have New Balances here for $60, I'm not sure if that's the $574, but New Balance $574s for $60 is definitely cheaper than they usually sell, they're usually about $90, like that shoe right there, that's $100, that's a Nike Dunk. And this used to be a hair store over here. And here's a barber shop. said Memorial Day so for Memorial Day the 4th of July Labor Day sometimes and New Year's they have fireworks over here so this is usually where they set it up you can get fireworks from this parking lot and here's Kroger they have a dentist over here a Chinese a Chinese uh, restaurant, rather, called Great Wall. Chinese food, really, as I kept trying to say just then. But yeah, Chinese restaurant called Great Wall, Nail Land, a dentist, a UPS store, the Juicy Crawfish, the Dutch Pot, which I think they may be closed, but they still have their van over here, a Rainbow Fashion Store. W&B Factory, Wings and Burger, Henry Vision Center, another Dominican hair salon. So to satisfy both sides of the table, they have both low-waisted jeans for women, for women and high-waisted jeans for women. I'm going to say that again. I've been riding for a minute and there's a lot of pollen over in this area. They have low-waisted jeans for women and high-waisted jeans. So 
from 1999. So whatever size you want to get, if you're a female watching this, Rainbow's got you. At least as of 2024, they've got you. They have both sides of the spectrum. So if you like high-waisted, they've got you. If you like low-waisted, they've got you. If you, if you like high heel sneakers, they've got you too. Jean jackets, dresses, and more. Over here is the Seven Club and Outlet over here. It's a Seven Sports Bar, rather. They have the Bank of America ATM over there if you need to go grab some cash, which is pretty convenient. Seven Sports Bar and Lounge. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and conclude my video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this awesome tour of Stockbridge, Georgia, please give this video a like. Consider subscribing for more awesome content. And I will see you all next time. This video was filmed with a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which is also in the description below, with the MC Pro 24 FPS app at 4K 60 FPS. I have the noise control on minimal. Thanks for watching, everyone.